If you've been looking for ways to get a modern calendar view in your SharePoint site, we're going to show you how to do that today. Until recently, SharePoint hasn't had a clean way to view a modern calendar within your SharePoint site right along with your other content. There's been some workarounds where you can show um, a classic calendar view in your modern SharePoint site, but this causes problems not only visually, but you also lose some functionality. SharePoint still doesn't have a clean way to do this, but we do have a way uh, using a workaround to get that modern calendar view that you've been wanting in your modern SharePoint site. So today we're gonna show you the steps of how to do this. All right, the first step is to create your calendar view in your Microsoft list. So pull up the list that you're going to use within lists and create a new view. You're gonna do that by going up here to all items and click create new view. So here is where you can name your view to see you later, select the type. So we're obviously gonna hit calendar. I'm gonna call it calendar three for video purposes and you can customize the start and end date. So I'm just gonna go with start date and due date. You can also select if you wanna make this a public view. So this is important for everyone who has access to your list if you want them to be able to view the calendar view in their settings to make sure you have that clicked. Then go ahead and hit create and here we have our calendar view. So now you may wanna take this calendar view that you just created and show it in a modern way on your modern SharePoint site so that it can be displayed cleanly with your other content. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is I will first just create a blank page uh, for the purposes of showing you, but this also works just the same if you have a page developed already, maybe uh, for a project and you already have all your content cleanly on there. So I'm gonna call this page project page. And so any site, whether it's already has stuff in here or does not, basically what you're going to do is click this to add a new web part. Now the main issue is that SharePoint does not have a calendar web part that's going to display in a modern way. So what we're going to do is use the embedded web part to use the iframe to embed it into your SharePoint page to get it to display correctly. So here is where you're gonna use the URL from that calendar view that you just created. Now, I will first uh, copy it. So I'll just hit Control C there. Okay, now you can't take that URL and just paste it in here. That will error it out and it's not gonna display correctly. What you're gonna do is insert this iframe snippet. So you might wanna pause the video and, and copy this because this is exactly what you'll use. Um, and then you're just gonna replace this section here where I just put in your view URL with the URL from your modern calendar view over in Microsoft list. So, in my list view, I'm gonna quick copy this and then I'm gonna paste it over here. And then we'll see what loads up on my page. All right, so again, it's within that iframe snippet, which you're gonna to wanna to copy over exactly. Just paste your URL and it should work just like this. So now I can see my modern calendar view within my SharePoint page. Let's go ahead and exit out of this web part and hit publish so that we can see the final product. Okay, so here's my SharePoint page that you just saw me create. Like you saw, mine's blank so far, but right here on the top, I have an integrated modern view uh, calendar on my modern SharePoint site. So unfortunately, there's still no clean way to integrate a modern calendar view into your SharePoint site, but this workaround works great. It's simple for your average user and will get you the look and feel that you want while we're waiting for an easier way. So I hope that helps and I hope this helps you use the modern calendar view in your SharePoint site. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. If you wanna see more of this type of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, we've just started a podcast. It's called Make Others Successful. It's all about how we help organizations modernize their workplace. So we're gonna leave that link in the description box below. We'd love if you check it out. It has some great longer form content that we think would be helpful for our listeners. Lastly, if you've never been to our website, we have an entire learning center on there. We're gonna leave the link 
to that also in the description box below. It's separated by topic. You can select the topic that you're interested in learning more about, and it'll be a series of content, our videos, blog posts, podcasts, all uh, just resources to help you with different modern workplace topics. Thanks again for watching today. We hope you have a great rest of your day and we will see you next time. Thank you.